Winning the toss and taking first knock, it was Shakobi getting Serif this four and Javion Batson to open the batting for St. Catherine's Juniors. Getting stuck no time and truly settling in at the crease and turns this one nicely to the boundary. But he lost his opening partner, Batson, after they had built a 49-run partnership, given LBW to Marcus Jackman. Batson made 10. Franklin Stevenson Academy claimed the first wicket. That brought Shaniko Sargent to the crease and he announced his arrival with a big one, struck powerfully over the ropes for a six and the St. Catherine supporters loved it. Gittins in the meantime continued to get boundaries as well. He was timing and placing the ball well. Here he goes again, Gittins not playing his shot selection on point. This is actually the seventh delivery that Gittins dispatched to the ropes. He was batting with class. But it would come to an end when he was bowled by Najee Ward. Gittins wrapped up 39 of 31 balls. A good opening knock on his part as St. Catherine's Juniors are now 92 for 2. Kimani Innes came in, but it was a mere visit to the crease as he was caught by Davico Stevenson for a duck. The score 93 for 3. The fourth wicket went shortly after as Zaire Kelma was stumped. Keeper Javante Mir is not missing a beat. It's 99 for 4. Sarge will be the next wicket to go, bowled by Ward. The score now 109 for 5. Not a single run was added and the sixth wicket fell. As there was chaos at the crease, Amari Ames runs down the pitch while the throwing comes in and the bells are off. He's run out. St. Catherine's Jr. is now 109 for 6 and they will eventually be all up for 176, setting Franklin Stevenson Academy 177 to win.